In this video, you will learn how Keywords Everywhere works in the Google Search Results page and how you can perform keyword research as you perform searches in Google. We have separate videos on how Keywords Everywhere works on other websites like YouTube, Amazon, eBay, and others. This video is only for Google. If you want to see videos on the other websites, you will find links to them below in the description. Let me first give you a quick overview of where you can find Keyword Everywhere's features on Google. I'll then go into detail with each of these features. We show the search volume, CPC, competition, and trend data for every Google search you perform right under the search box. You can also see the same data in the Google Auto Suggest dropdown. We add a bunch of widgets on the right hand side of Google. These are the Find Long Tail Keywords widget, the Trend Chart widget, and the three widgets for related, people also search for, and long tail keywords. In the search results, you can also view the URL and domain traffic metrics embedded within each of them. In future versions, we will also be adding link metrics for each of the search results. I will now take you through each of these features individually. When you do a Google search, you will find the monthly search volume and other data right under the search box. This will cost you a single credit for every search that you perform. If you have the Show Metrics in Autocomplete Suggestion drop-down setting enabled, then whenever you start to perform a search, you will also see this data for every keyword that Google suggests for you in the drop-down. This is a useful way of quickly finding high volume keywords as you modify your search query. Note that you are charged one credit for every keyword shown in the autocomplete dropdown. Let's move on to the widget shown on the right hand side. Clicking the Find Long Tail Keywords button will open a new page that will use Google's Autosuggest API to find thousands of long tail keywords for your search query. This is useful when searching a head term to see if there are any other long tail versions of this head term that have decent search volume. Note that each keyword found here will cost you a single credit. The next widget shown is the trend chart. We use the Google Trends API to estimate search volume data from 2004 for every keyword. As far as I know, Keywords Everywhere is the only tool that gets you monthly search volume trend data from 2004. I've also put a link in the description below to an article that explains in detail how we do this. If you are a free user, you will still see the trend chart, but not the historical search volume. We have a separate tool for users who want this historical volume data in bulk and it's called the Bulk Trends Data. It can be found in the pop-up menu of our extension. You can get the historical volume for 1,000 keywords at a time using that tool. Next up are the three keyword widgets, the Related, People Also Search For, also called PASF, and the Long Tail Keyword widgets. The Related keywords are keywords that Google deems to be directly related to your search query. The PASF keywords are those search queries that people perform in addition to this search query. The long tail keywords are a short set of the closest long tail keywords to your search query. By default, these widgets will also show you the volume, trend, and other data for each of the keywords and will cost you one credit for each keyword. If you want to save on credits, you can disable any of these widgets in the Credit Usage for Widgets section in the Settings page. Once disabled, there you will continue to see these widgets, but no credits will be used and no volume data will be shown. The final feature added to Google SERP is the traffic data. You can see this data embedded in the search results next to the breadcrumb URL that Google shows. When you move your mouse over these metrics, a pop-up will open with additional details. The traffic data is quite different from monthly search volume data. The monthly search volume data comes directly from Google Keyword Planner and represents the number of times a keyword was searched for in Google. The traffic metrics are an estimate of how much traffic any page or website gets from Google for the chosen country. We have an article that explains in detail how we estimate this traffic data and I have linked to it in the description below. We show the total traffic for the page in the search result as well as the total traffic that the website gets. We also show the total number of keywords that the page and the website rank for in the top 30 positions in Google. You can click these numbers and a page will open showing the list of all such keywords. You can also get the traffic data in bulk to all your URLs and websites by using the bulk traffic metrics functionality in the pop-up menu. 
This is an amazing tool for competitor research. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, you can email us at help at keywordseverywhere.com. Thanks for watching, guys, and best of luck with your keyword research.